I'm sure you're all familiar with Lock4Shell and chances are that it ruined one of your weekends or evenings back in December. But the recent spring for shell of course reminded us that this was a one-off but new vulnerabilities getting discovered constantly putting your applications at risk my name is robin and today i would like to show you in a short demo how dynatrace can help you protect your applications against such attacks i have here a quite simple example currency conversion application that is using app spring and it's deployed on a tomcat web server so that makes it vulnerable to the spring for shell vulnerability so as an attacker i can send specific ready-made requests to this endpoint to install a web shell. So I have two requests that I have to uh, send to override um, the um, built-in logging mechanisms in Tomcat and generate a JSP file that allows me to ex execute remote commands. And there's a 500 error that is printed here, but this <clears throat> doesn't matter. It's just because I didn't submit kind of the correct form content, but it still installed a new uh, file on the server called shell.jsp which allows me to run commands now. I can pass in a parameter, and for example, I could figure out who's the current user on that server. So this application runs under the Azure user. And I can also now maybe have a look at and see if this user has sudo writes. Uh, we can see it does, so no password required. Can execute sudo commands. So of course, now uh, you have a lot of possibilities to exploit this vulnerability. And of course, to mitigate it, uh, now we know we need to upgrade our Spring version and if I switch over to Dynatrace, this is also what it tells me. It has detected that uh, we have a vulnerability in Spring Beans um, that was discovered, remote code ex execution, meaning that I need to go uh, and upgrade the um, library used in my Tomcat application. But of course, it takes me some time to do that upgrade, and in the meantime, I'm vulnerable to um, attacks using that uh, vulnerability. And if you think about it, that Java 9 uh, came out a couple of years ago when Java 9 introduced this vulnerability. And in the meantime, before it became known publicly, some people might have known about it and it, being able to exploit it to um, get access to the uh, command line of your servers. And since Dynatrace is monitoring all your transactions, um, of course it has it's a good opportunity to see what happens in these transactions. Is there any malicious kind of execution being run? And this is exactly what attack detection and blocking does. So if I switch over to the attack section here, I can see that there were a number of attacks run against my um, different applications. I can see where they come from, and we see all the, the details down here. So we have here, for example, the, the last two are the commands I just run against that shell.jsp that was installed. So let's have a look at the details of one such attack. We can see where it comes from. Uh, that there's a specific entry point, which is that shell.jsp that was installed using the spring for shell vulnerability. And then we can see that um, it executed a command. So it's a command injection on that specific server. Uh, and we can see it, it detects that a specific payload by the user is then uh, passed to runtime.exec, so being executed on the system. And of course, uh, this is never a good sign uh, if the user can directly pass something that's being executed. So that then is detected as an attack. And we can also see uh, it correlates with the uh, current logs. But now, of course, we don't only want to um, detect attacks, but it would be nice to be able to actually prevent them from happening. And if I switch from monitoring to blocking mode in application security, I can actually um, block such attacks, meaning protect my applications from being exploited I'm just going to save this. So now switch to the blocking mode. And if I go back to uh, my exploit here, so my shell JSP, now I want to run um, another command. So the attacker wants to see, for example, what is in the current directory, executes this, and now there's an internal server error. And we can see here that um, there's actually an attack that was detected, command injection, and it blocked that specific transaction. So preventing this. Um, a command from being executed on the server. And if I go back to Dynatrace, look at the, the different attacks. Just going to refresh here to see uh, if I already detected the newest one. Um, probably take a second to show up here. But it will actually show, as we see down here, that it not just detected this attack, but also blocked it. And this, of course, is quite powerful because now yeah, it protects your environments against zero day uh, vulnerabilities. So, meaning that Detecting any kind of injection, uh, so it supports for command line SQL injection in GNDI, for example, and can help you protect your applications against those attacks, 
before those vulnerabilities are being known to the general public.